WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrial trading up 493, Nasdaq's up 89, S&Ps are up 50. That's a gain inside the Dow, folks, at 1.6%. Inside the S&P, 1.2, and the Nasdaq, uh, 8 tenths of 1%. Gold, gold contract, uh, flat. 16.55. Silver's up 15 cents, 19 dollars, 22 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude flat, 84 dollars, 70 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10-year note down one tick, trading 109.24. The 30-year off 24, 23 ticks at 118.14. And king dollar, king dollar right now is uh, trading down 48 ticks, 111.964. The euro's at 98. The yen is out here at 148.80, and the British pound is at 112 to 1 U.S. dollar. We get over and we take a look at the, uh, we're going to look at the, the Dow first. The Dow is in a confirmed ABC structure up. S&P is not going to have the volume today. NASDAQ is going to be a close call. But bottom line, the Dow is leading it, which we haven't seen that in a long period of time. Bottom line, blew away its B point on Friday, blew it away with volume. That Dow is on its way up to that 32,500 area. If we get into the SPY, we look at the SPY, I just don't see the SPY getting 20 million into the close, but hey, we'll see what happens, man. It's, it's taking the B point out. The B point is uh, 375.45, and you're not going to get 40 million. Uh, so bottom line, you get higher price, but 40 million is not going to come in. Now, the Qs, they get a different animal here. So the Qs are not going to lead a lot of volume, but it's still going to need, I believe, 20, 20 million. In an hour. Well, they can get that, though. Yeah, they, get, they need 19 million in an hour. They're taking out the B point. Uh, we'll see whether they can get the volume behind it. That's the bottom line. It's good. And you can see now the dollar. This is what I suspect gonna, we're going to see this week. The, I suspect the dollar is going to break its trend because we're right at it. We dipped underneath it today. Um, the, trend, the trend line that could bring the dollar all the way back down to 105, 196 is. 111.692. And we went to 111.474. We're at 111.951. Now, my take, I want to see this break with conviction, not just a break. But I suspect we're going to get it. That's what's going to happen. Then you're going to see, if you think the, you know, you get the Dow running 400 points with a flat, uh, 500 points rather, with a flat, um, Dollar, this dollar croaks, you are going to see some numbers. And, it, you know, it, 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 it's really possible, for folks, what you have happening here. I still think it's kind of trend balance. But my point is, is that when you have inflation, we're going to see higher numbers every, everywhere. It doesn't mean you can buy more. It doesn't mean you have more. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.